Today we're going to go over how to properly associate list of values to objects in uh, universes. We're in this folder, uh, it's called storage. You can navigate this uh, in your business object installation box. What it does is uh, each time uh, a user refreshes something in their web report, it creates uh, a folder for a universe. So a universe could have um, you know 10 different or 100 different objects that have list of values enabled in the universe. And so each time a report gets refreshed or a user refreshes an object that has list of values, it just adds to this uh, uh, folder. And the folder you know increases over time if you do not take care of it or reduce the size of it. I'm going to show you one of our environments that had uh, three point over three gigs of space, um, and we have you can see dozens of uh, universes here. And uh, if we go to the property, it'll show almost three and a half, actually over three and a half gigs of space. And the reason for this is because of a simple mistake during um, universe design. All the date objects had a um, list of values associated with it. By default, this object uh, uh, has the option of um, list of values association enabled for every object that you create. We're going to go back to our um, uh, other environment, the current up to date environment. I'm going to delete this. Um, currently, we have 58 megs. So, I'm going to delete these folders and show you how list of values get um, created. I'm going to open a WebB uh, report session and I don't have to actually create a report to show you the point. I could just uh, bring on an object that has list of values associated with it and if uh, you go to prompt and there's an option in prompt, if this option is not checked then the list of values um, will not appear. But we're just going to, for the demonstration, we're going to go uh, values from list and this is a list of values, an um, example of a list of values. As, as you can see, a folder is already created and it's eight point um, some uh, it's a little over eight kilobytes but it's a very small because you know it only had like what eight of them eight different uh, values in there uh, we're gonna bring in a few other objects and uh, and try to you know, see their list of values and then uh, see the uh, size in our storage folder So we're gonna bring another one. Um, SKU might be good. Yeah, it has some. So we're gonna go back to the folder and let's uh, note down the uh, size now. Size increase. So it's 36 KB. They, as you can see it already increased four times the size I mean we're still at KB we're gonna open up a, another universe a previous universe that we had problem with um, we're gonna take a created date field and uh, try to um, uh, use the list of values here to see how long it takes to load load it up so I'm gonna click on it and uh, let's see how long it takes. It's about 10 seconds. So if we started at 509.30, and it's, uh, after a minute, the uh, list of values pops up. And it's a good amount of um, data. It's got you know, a dozen or more than 10 pages. And these are simply all the possible dates because our list of values is um, select distinct object from table it's a basic uh, that's a basic sequel of it it's a distinct of the object so let's see the size wow and that's 11 megabytes for one object one date object so imagine uh, in a universe like this uh, where there are dozens of date objects and we'll take another one here so that will take well a minute or so and let's uh, and this is from the same table let's see if the size has increased now
it's still 11.8 megs I doubt the uh, a change has been reflected uh, properly but uh, for our experimentation we'll just you know take it as is sometimes you know it takes a little while we'll pick some another we'll pick another data object from a different uh, class and let's see how long it takes to load up okay it loads up go back to the storage folder and wow and it's 29 megs now and these are just two objects three objects I'm gonna now show you how to um, import the universe um, using designer and how to um, solve this problem from the core we'll go to our objects properties I'm sure um, the universe designers here uh, know properties and stuff we'll just simply go to the properties tab and uncheck associated list of values for any sort of IDs or date fields that have you know unique records but uh, are not supposed to be uh, used by business like ID or date you know there's no point in having list of values for these kind of objects we'll save it we'll export it <coughs> and then uh, we'll show you that uh, this option of a list of values does not even appear on web intelligence we're now gonna go to the universe, uh, the webby front end, and uh, we're gonna drag in our date objects that we sim uh, you know modified in the universe. And as you, as you can see, values from list option is faded. So this is the best way um, to design universe uh, so that uh, unnecessary spaces do not you know pile up in the storage folder. And finally, we're going to delete these folders. Uh, Lovely folders, and that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.